Hi, Flosstube friends. How are you? I missed you. Yay! If we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene, and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and sewing and quilting and a little bit of crochet and my grandbabies and food and, of course, what I'm grateful for. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Oh, I have treats. I have treats. Don't worry. Okay, today's treats. Oh, I don't want to drop it. Okay, today's treats are blueberry oatmeal bars. Oh my gosh. Okay, do you want to know the secret? All right. Okay, so these have an entire colander full of spinach in them. <laughs> I used to make these when my children were little and I would uh, wrap them up individually and then I would like make a little station outside on the picnic table with water where, and little cups where they'd have to pour their own. They felt so grown up. Um, they would stop playing, come over, pour themselves a cup of water and then they'd have a, um, a dessert bar. That's what I call them. Okay, so it has, uh, you can use sugar-free jam. You can use sugar jam if you want, but I use no sugar jam jam. Um, uh, I use a strawberry or blueberry or, you know, whatever flavor you have. And then I just chop up, cook and chop up a little bit of, um, a cup or two of my blueberries. And then, um, I cook a whole colander of spinach and then I squeeze out all the water and then I puree that all together. So then this bar ends up being, uh, like a cookie crumble bottom the delicious, moist, tender center with all that fruit and deliciousness, and then the crumbly top. It's so good, it's so good. And if you serve them room temperature or cold, nobody can taste the spinach because it's hidden in the blueberries. Okay, and here's the other thing. I know I keep telling you all my ingredients. And all that. Okay, so when this recipe says uh, oats, I use gluten-free oats. When this recipe says flour, I use better batter flour mixture. So it's a, it's a gluten-free mixture. And then when it says butter, I use earth balance, which is like butter, but no dairy. So um, yeah, you can just kind of switch up your own recipes, but this is really a good one. I can kind of smell it. It smells good. Okay. All right. Okay. You came for stitching, not really food. So anyway, okay. Let's talk about that quilt behind me. Uh, that quilt behind me is called a variable star quilt. It's the same pattern, but just the way you use the fabrics, it ends up looking like a different block. Um, that was the first um, big quilt that I ever made, 1987. Uh, I cut the pattern out of a cereal box and then out of a piece of... Um, sandpaper and then I glued them together with Elmer's glue and I set them on a book I set a book on top of it overnight and then I had my pattern piece and then I drew around each one I, I didn't know what a rotary cutter was or any of that so I drew with a pencil around each one of all the different fabrics I had and then I cut them all out sewed them together and then that's um I machine pieced them but then that's all hand quilted and I guess I thought it was going to be my last one and only forever quilt because I embroidered my children's names, my husband's name, my name, the dates. Um, I drew four pictures. Uh, oh, it's way, way at the top. Four pictures of the different states we lived in already. I don't know. I just crammed it all on one, but uh, we slept on that quilt for years. So it's a good one. It's beautiful. Some of the fabric is starting to kind of deteriorate a little bit, but that I think we all are deteriorating a little bit with that that age. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that's a good one. Okay, let's let's get started. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping first. First, my housekeeping is uh, two two requests. Um, my friend Stacy, your friend Stacy, the nine one one stitcher. Uh, unfortunately and tragically and sadly, um, their stepdaughter uh, Elizabeth passed away this last week. Uh, she was forty. And Stacy and her husband could use all of the prayers and good wishes and thoughts that you have. And you know when people say, oh, let me know if there's anything I can do. There is something you can do. You can lift them up in prayer. You can send good wishes their way. Um, you could send them a note. I understand not everybody has cards at home. Um, it's hard to get out. So maybe you could write a little note, um, a postcard. Um, give her a text message, an email. Uh, she could use our strength and our hug. And uh, it's, um, it's really sad. 
but I think that maybe all of us could help out just a little bit. If all of us uh, sent her a message or a note, um, it might make her feel a, just a, a smidgen better. I, I don't know, but um, anyway, that one. And then the other request is uh, for our friend Donna Ray, Flannel Jemmy's Farms. She could certainly use all of our prayers and good wishes and good karma next week for some serious health issues that she's uh, facing. So I think with all of us combined together, sending good wishes and text messages and prayers and um, just all kinds of positive thoughts. If you uh, have a prayer candle, you might want to light that prayer candle. So we have Stacy and Donna Ray and uh, please join me as I celebrate them and help them. And um, I want to be a good friend. I want to, I want to help them through this time. So anyway, thanks for listening to that. Okay. Let's see. What do I got? Oh, I have some life updates. You want some life updates? Okay. Let's see. I'll do it real quick. Okay. Uh, I had a marvelous birthday. Thank you so much. Oh, I got all kinds of cards and just just lots of cards, lots of good wishes. People sent me thread and buttons and I got presents and we got to go to the beach and walk on the beach barefoot and I got to eat my birthday cake at the beach and I got to walk on the sand and it felt wonderful to breathe the fresh air and it was really, really good. So that was fun. That, that was really fun. Um, we had four yards of garden soil <laughs> delivered. That would be 8,000 pounds of dirt and I did 10 a uh, wheelbarrow fulls and he put three and a half shovel fulls in each of my wheelbarrows. Whew, I'm tired. So I went inside and made cinnamon rolls. You know, when I was a little girl, my grandma, she used to, um, when we would go there, my grandpa during the summer and they would be haying the field, uh, on the other side of their house or, um, he was a volunteer fireman. So if there was a big project they were on or a big lesson for a day, we my sisters and I would help my grandma and my mother and we all made sandwiches and and we wrapped things and they they made lemonade and they put it in uh, thermoses and they took it and we had this big tall thing of styrofoam cups and and we were the one we it seemed like it was super important that we did all that so um, I always felt so important making sandwiches and these big lines all this bread was lined out and we would put cheese and bologna or whatever she made and then we got to take it all out to all the men that were working out there and and they always were so thankful and thanks a lot and they would drink that whole cup of lemonade and I always felt like oh they're they, they're able to do that because I helped and I helped do all this food so anyway well Mr. Wright was in the rain doing <laughs> wheelbarrow after wheelbarrow I made some rolls and I you know it smelled wonderful and delicious and um, so when he was done <laughs> moving all that dirt and put it into the new flower boxes. Um, oh, he made this ramp, this really cool ramp with two uh, boards so that he could get the wheelbarrow up into this flower bed. And he took that ramp when he was done and he built me this sunflower box or all my sunflowers. So it was wonderful. And then he seemed pretty happy. He was, he was slightly tired, but he seemed pretty happy to eat cinnamon rolls. So I had a part in it. So that was good. That was good. Um, Oh, we went on a picnic in the forest. Oh, the oxygen, the trees. It just was wonderful. It was really good. It was really good. I planted all my garden since, since last I saw you. The garden is all in and everything's sprouting and looking wonderful. So I'm, I'm happy about that. We've done more jigsaw puzzles and board games than you can shake a stick at. So, okay, let's get into some stitching, some different things. Let's talk about some previous finishes. Um, I found this one when I was when I was cleaning and reorganizing things. Okay, so this is a little cloche. Uh oh, there you go. And I stitched this little butterfly. So I don't have insect pins, the the little tiny ones. So I just use a sewing pin. But I thought it looked kind of like a seventh grade science project. So I stitched this little piece and just put it on a little piece of card with some fabric on the back. And so it just sits in there. This is meadow. I think I got this at Craft Warehouse. And so it sits in there. And I took the pattern. You can take patterns. I didn't do the whole pattern, but I just picked the, I guess it's a moth. Is that a moth? I think it's a moth, not a, not a butterfly. But anyway, you can take different pieces from different patterns that you have and put them in little display pieces. So kind of fun, kind of cute. I like it. I like it. Okay, then I have this one. 
I pulled this one off the kitchen, um, the kitchen wall. My friend Stacy and I were talking on Zoom, and um, I showed her this. Okay, I am not like Priscilla and Chelsea. I don't know how to do this. So, okay, this is on a, this is on a, you know, a flat fold thing, and I didn't know how you're supposed to do those washer things. So this is like a piece of metal, sheet metal. <laughs> I don't know. And then I have all these magnets. I have like, look how many, oh, oops. Okay, look how many magnets I have. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is called um, the Bent Creek um, Hen Pattern. And this thing that I put it on is this, um, just has chicken wire and it's a wooden frame. But I got it in the birthday party section of Hobby Lobby, like, I don't know, a year ago or so. So it was a weird place to have it, but it's real cute. And you can put any of your flat folds right on it. And then you probably know how to do that. Or how about this? How about if you go to Chelsea and Pris Priscilla and Chelsea's uh, Stitching with the Housewives and then they can show you how to do the magnet thing because I don't really know how to do the magnet thing. Anyway, it's a cute one. So I thought I would share. Thought I would share that one. Okay, what else do we have? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking at my notes because I just, like, my mind is swirling. I don't know about you, but it's like, oh my gosh, I can't concentrate on one thing for very long, so... I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. It was nice that I got all dressed up. Lipstick, little makeup, jewelry. Kind of like a lot of jewelry. I don't, okay, that's a little too much jewelry. <sighs> we went to the cemetery on Memorial Day, and it felt so nice to be in a dress and pearls. And I had three or four strings of pearls. It was like a little too much, but it was nice. It was nice to get all dressed up. Okay. Oh, you want to know one thing I'm grateful for? I'm grateful for YouTube. I love floss tube, love it, you know I do, but we have a friend who got a new dog. They adopted a new dog and he's deaf. So we're all learning sign language, good dog. <laughs> we're learning sign language so we can visit with a dog. That'll be kind of cool. Um, and then another thing that I'm really grateful for of YouTube. Well, my husband's really grateful too, Mr. Wright. Okay, so his hair, you know he has a perfectly tight done military haircut and it was driving him crazy but none of the places are open here so I watched three videos on how to cut men's hair <laughs> and then he sat down and then I was the hairdresser so I was chatting and talking asking if he wanted a magazine you know he, he didn't <laughs> but I think I did a pretty good job he was like okay so I think I'd give myself a B plus maybe an A minus He's pretty happy with it. It wasn't military precision, but it was really like a 1950s haircut. It looked perfect. So, <laughs> yay. <laughs> okay, let's talk about some cross stitch. Here's my works in progress. Uh, let's see, it goes this way. Isabella Johnson. And, okay, you can't see the stitching. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, you can see some of the letters. Can I get up close enough? Okay, so the letters go across here. They're the numbers. And at the end of the uh, number 10, I did 2020. So that's in there. Um, I've got my, this little rose is kind of done. Oh, you can kind of see the color a little bit better. Um, I kind of put it down for a while. You know I was going to. And I'm not a big uh, mania, stitch mania stitcher. I it's just a lot. I just couldn't deal with it. And then Melissa, the cupcake stitcher, she had this idea of a strand a day in May. And I thought, I can do that. So you put a strand a day into a project. And then that's what I've been doing. But then what happened was I kind of fell back in love with this project. And I only have the stars and the blue field left to do. Oop, there you go. This is a Blackbird design called America the Beautiful. And my goal was trying to finish it by the end of May. So oh, I got to I kind of have to hurry up this video so that I can get back to stitching. I want to finish it. So um, anyway, her idea was really brilliant. It was one strand a day and then you made a lot of progress. But then once I picked it up, some of the days I didn't just put one strand in. Some of them I felt like, oh, I could keep stitching. So I love that. Hey, uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you about, um, and I can't, I can't get it to the store right now, so I can't lace some of my pieces that I'm done, but I lace on this gray color because it really does, uh, I wonder if I can, let me take this pin out. It, it kind of, I don't know if you could, can you tell? 
maybe you can't tell very good okay so when i uh, lace my pieces i don't use white i use um gray board that i get at hobby lobby and i just cut it down into whatever size i wanted and it kind of hides some of the little imperfections the little strands that you maybe you know zipped over to do one or two things or between the letters but for some reason the gray behind most all the fabrics kind of tends to uh be a little more forgiving and so anyway I'm starting to have a pile of things that are finished that I don't uh, that I don't have laced yet because I only have like different little scraps left to use but anyway that th I got that tip from kitten stitcher uh, to use gray in the background and I tell you it it is beautiful really 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 helps it out okay oh I'm doing a crochet thing do you want to see it <laughs> okay I got it in this Roger's chocolate bag. Oh my god. Roger's chocolate in Canada. Like heaven. Okay, there's nothing healthy about them and you can you almost have to share one. They're they're that big, that good. My husband says they're like hockey pucks of goodness. They're so good. Okay, I am making a scarf with this color yarn and it's called I've never used it before. It's called bamboo yarn. Okay, so here's the picture of the scarf that I'm making. I didn't care for that orangey coral color, so I just switch it to this pink. So it ends up being, you know, kind of sherbet-y colors. Okay, and so the, it's like, I haven't done the ends in yet, but you just do all, you just follow the pattern and like use the different colors and different stitches. And, and when it's all done, it's going to just look gorgeous, or I hope, I don't know. Kind of waiting on another pattern that I wanted to do so I just thought okay I'll give this a try and the bamboo yarn is kind of super slippery on the, the hook so I'm not super good I think maybe once it's blocked it'll look a lot better so there you go that's a project I'm working on can you tell my mind is flighty and I'm going every which way okay let's talk about this pattern it's called soul birds by Lottie Daw I'll give you a minute. You need to write it down. Put it in your phone, write it down with a piece of paper and a pencil, whatever you got to do. I have used this pattern now eight times. So all my other patterns, most of them I don't mind giving away, sharing. This is the pattern. It's called Soul Birds. So it comes with a really nice alphabet. It has all different, um, different choices of different birds. I want to... Uh, three, four, five, six, six different birds that you can choose from. Um, you can use some of the motifs back and forth. Okay, so I've made I made these because, sadly, um, I tried to make them as a present for people when they've lost somebody that was um, beloved, and it doesn't help anything. But it helps me. So while I'm sewing it and stitching the letter of the person, um, I can pray for the family. I can find some fabric that they like. Uh, you, I made it make a little pocket in the back so you can write a little note. Um, or the person can put a favorite recipe or a little love note from uh, from their person. Um, I stitched. A, I put a little heart charm on the back. I put a bell on it so that every time they pick this up and they hear that bell, I hope they get to remember something really wonderful about that person or something really funny that makes them giggle or laugh. I don't know. It's I didn't have a lot of things. I didn't have a lot of finishing things to choose from, so I just pick and chose what I had. I happen to know this person's uh, favorite color was sapphire blue. So I just tried to find some ribbon and buttons and things that I had. You can personalize them. Um, it's sort of this old uh, Methodist idea of going to somebody's house with this chicken casserole. It doesn't really fix anything. It, it's just this idea that we're all, all standing there with you, holding your hand as you walk over those hot coals. So I'm hoping that I can send this to my friend. And I hope that... Um, I hope it helps. I don't know. I, I think it will. I'm not sure. 
Um, she can put her own buttons on. She can um, add little uh, little pins or notes or special things that she might want to stick in the back. Uh, tickets to a concert they went to or something. Anything to help them remember good things. And uh, um, mine smells good. Filled it with some lavender, of course. But, you know, just that fiber fill stuff. So, anyway, I highly recommend this pattern. It really gives you something that you can work on while you're thinking about the other person, praying for them, helping them. I know that it doesn't fix anything. I know it doesn't bring the person back. But I just thought maybe it might be something that you might be interested in. And it doesn't take that long to stitch. And um, you just stitch whatever color you want. I just picked up this. I think this is the black raspberry, maybe. Um, and uh, you can pick whatever uh, bird, whatever initial. And it's just it's just really a lovely little thing so i'll wrap it up real pretty and uh and uh, send it off and and hope it it helps it helps a little bit so anyway that's that's one idea for you how's that that's a, that's an idea okay so do you want to talk about a giveaway do you want to have a giveaway <laughs> i love giving presents away okay so get this i have went over 2,500 subbies. Yahoo! I can't believe that many people I get to talk to and be friends with and it makes my life better. And y'all sent me so many nice wishes on my birthday and you send me ideas and thoughts and good, good cards and postcards. And I just thought, oh, we have to celebrate. Okay, so of course I didn't go to the store. So I used leftover fabric that I had and I made a couple project bags. This is leftover from that cross quilt that you've all been looking at and listening to me. Yeah, I made the, I stitched together all the scraps and then I just made this piece of fabric in the back. I made one for me. I made two to give away. What do you think? I know. Okay, pretty cool. So this is for 1000 This is for 2000 And then I made a little half one for the <laughs> A little small one. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, so the first one, if you'd like to be entered for this one, you have to leave me a comment. And I would love a suggestion for a picnic food. I love going on picnics and you know we don't eat meat, we don't eat dairy, but if you have any suggestions of snack food or dessert or some kind of delicious Sammy, I'd love to hear what you put in your picnic basket. So this one you have to, oh you know all the rules. You have to be 18 and so I can get your address if you're the winner and don't say giveaway and don't say free or don't say whatever and we just want a stitcher to win. We just do. Okay? Okay, so Anyway, it's hot pink. I don't know. Are the colors showing up pretty good? Okay, it's a hot pink color. I just, this one has a purple zipper. I just used the zippers that I had. Sorry. I mean, it's kind of cute with this, with the purple. I'm not sorry. I like it. Okay, so it's hot pink fabric. So this one, if you're interested in the drawing, you have to write down a picnic food idea for us. Love that. Okay, number two. This one. Okay. What did I say about this one? Oh, I know what this one is. This one, because of all those flowers. And this one is like a light purple zipper. Yeah, kind of a, a, it's almost lavender. But it's the same idea. And this one, oh yeah, I had to piece a couple of them because my I ran out of my, my fabric. Yeah, there's a little piece there too, and piece there. So I just used all the scraps that I had from that cross quilt, the Carpenter Square uh, quilt. And then I just made this project bag. Okay, so this one, all these flowers. If you want to be entered in the drawing for this one, you have to write down a garden tip. I would love a gardening tip. And remember, I don't use any chemicals or anything, so it has to be a really good tip. I'm always in the mood for a good tip. Okay, so this one... This is my half size one. Isn't that charming? And I ran out of fabric, so I had to kind of piece it here with some, it's really pretty batik though. And I, it ended up being pieced up here and I used a lavender colored zipper for this one. Poke it out in the middle. So it's a little one, so that those little charts will fit right in there. So this one is the half. 
See that half? Look at that. <laughs> do y'all have half birthdays? We do. <laughs> My sister had a birthday right around Christmas, and so we always did a half birthday. We gave her one sock. We gave her half a cake. We It was hilarious. And so nowadays, there's no reason. We just, you know, have a birthday <laughs> celebration, and we put the half birthday candle. So here's the half. This is the 500. These are the 2,000. This is the 500. <laughs> So drop me a note and let me know if you've ever had a half birthday or you celebrate half birthday. So use the word birthday. Oh, okay. So the, the first one, use the word picnic and that's how I'll look for your comment. And in the second one, use the word garden and I'll look for your, your topic or your um, comment then. And in the third one, you have to use the word uh, birthday. So I have three wonderful giveaways. Wait, there's another one. <laughs> Okay, so I have three project bags, and then the other giveaway is really, really special. Okay, so this pattern is called Berry Bull Sampler, and this is by Beth Twist, Heartstring Samplery. And last time I did a video, I had a drawing, and I said you could go to Beth Twist's site and pick out any pattern you wanted, and the gal that won, she picked this pattern. It's a beautiful pattern. It is designed, it is the one where half and half, so half of the pattern is stitched on one kind of fabric, and then you sew the fabric together and you stitch the other half. It was designed by half by Beth Twist and half by Tanya Brockmeyer. And so they share the profits, 50-50. And uh, when I had gone to Beth Twist to ask her, you know, this lady is going to be writing you and she, she gets to pick out whatever pattern and I promise to pay for it. So we took care of business, did all that. And then Beth Twist graciously gave me one more pattern and it's a download. So she didn't have to go to the post office. So, uh, she gave me one extra pattern with permission to give it to one of you. So could you please, uh, write something about your favorite berry? My favorite berry is coming up in a couple weeks. The strawberry. I love strawberries. But you know I made the blueberry bars. Those are pretty good too. And you know I love raspberries. <laughs> okay, I'm not helping you. You have to write something with the word berry. What kind of berries do you like? So this is called the Berry Bull Sampler. And that's our fourth giveaway for today. So yay! That's, a good, that's good. We got a lot of good ones. That's a good thing. All right. What do we got? Uh, let me talk about one new floss tuber before I talk about my next thing. I know, I'm, I'm like all over the place. Okay, her name's Amy, and she's the Globe Trotting Stitcher. And I've actually got to meet her in person. She's in the Kitsap Stitchers um, group, the stitching group. She's a great gal. Oh, she's well-educated, beautiful projects, just beautiful. Um, and she travels a lot for her business. Currently, she's not traveling as much, but when she does, uh, then she's going to share a lot of her travels. She's gone to Mongolia and South Africa and uh, you name it, she's been there and has lots of great pictures. And so I, I think you're going to really enjoy her. The, the, she stitches about four or five projects at a time. She does uh, lavender and lace. She does huge projects. She does smaller projects. There's something for all of us. Her stitching is beautiful. And she has got the most quiet, wicked sense of humor. <laughs> You're going to love her. You're going to really love her. She is so nice. And not to even mention her gorgeous, beautiful hair. You're going to love that. She's got a great smile. Okay, so go go say hi to Amy, uh, Globe Trotting Stitcher. I think you're going to love her. She has one video up, so I think she could use a little bit of encouragement from the rest of us. And you won't be sorry that you stopped by. She's, she's just great. Okay, I have... Um, a little thing that I need. I thought you could help me out. Okay, so lots of people talk about being a hoarder in this and that and fabric and thread and come to find out I'm not a hoarder. I don't have fabric. I've used scraps and pieces and that little, this little piece was, was just a leftover scrap of fabric that I had. So I happen to have in my stash 40 count picture this plus Tyco it's 18 by 13 and a half inches. Okay, so never used it. It's in the bag. I, I'll try to show you the color. It's just, it's a little bit mottled. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but it's a real creamy, a real pretty color. 
I have no idea why I have this. Here's the thing. I'd like to trade this piece of fabric, 40 count, I'd like to trade it with one of you for some 32 count fabric so that I can stitch on something. I can't find a lot of stores that have it and I'm, I lose track when I go to a store, then I go down the rabbit hole, then I buy another pattern and I bought a sampler hill pattern or, or sampler hill, I think it's called a sampler. Okay, I'll t when it comes in, I'll show it to you. Anyway, I never did buy the fabric because they didn't have the fabric that I wanted. So I would like to trade this with someone. So if you could write a little message, if there's more than one per, if there's just one person, great. I want to trade this piece of 40 count about that color, creamy. Um, I'm not picky. <laughs> I'm, I just don't want to stitch on 40 count. It's not relaxing to me. It's how, how, how's that? Uh, it's a beautiful piece of fabric. It's never been used. I, there's no smoking in my house. Everything's organic, so it's perfectly fine. And I want to trade you this piece of fabric for about the same size, uh, about the same color, cream, whatever you have. I don't know all the names. For 32 count. So if you're interested, could you please uh, drop me a little note and say that you're interested in a trade? And uh, if there's more than one person, I'll just do that random generator picker and choose somebody and just trade you this fabric for, for a piece of 32. I'd really appreciate it because I, I want to stitch some stuff and I don't know, it might make me happier than having this in my stash that I'm not going to use and somebody else might be looking for this. I don't know. It might be a wonderful thing. So that would be good. That would be a good thing. Okay. Want to talk about some art? I know it's totally wild and different. Okay. First of all, let me tell you, I got this little card in the mail from Teresa Kogut, but on the back it says, Daily Marie, I love your wings, Bruce. So that would be Mr. Wright. For my birthday, Mr. Wright gave me one of her uh, beautiful prints. So it is the Poppy Girl, and I have not been anywhere where I could get it framed, so it is not framed yet. It is so pretty. And I got to tell you, her packaging is exquisite. It was wrapped and bubble wrapped and wrapped again. And it had this really pretty card with it. And it, it came in perfect condition, perfect condition. So yeah, I'm the lucky, I'm the lucky girl that got to have a, a, a print for my birthday. So isn't that neat that he kind of knew that I loved her angels and Okay, the other piece of art I want to tell you about, my friend Anne, Anne Couture Stray. She gave me this, and I wanted to show you. It's not framed either because I haven't been anywhere, but she did this rooster pattern. Oh, I don't want to bend it. Um, the colors are gorgeous and fun and happy and just saturated. Ooh, that is just gorgeous magenta color. And she gave this to me as a present. I went to school with her. It's been, it's amazing. She's an amazing sculptor. Oh, really, really amazing. But she also is a beautiful watercolorist. I have a bird bath that's a glass bird bath that she made me that's hanging in my tree and it's gorgeous and beautiful. But I wanted to share this picture and um, I'll put, I'll link the, the site to her um, fine arts. Oops, sorry, it's on my phone. I forget what it said. Um, the company that she uh, does her art through so that you could go and look and see if it's something that might uh, catch your eye and something that you might love to have or send as a present to somebody. It's just such beautiful work. And anyway, I just thought you might like to see that. So, okay, I have two tips today. You want today's tips? Okay, number one came from a viewer. And remember when Mr. Wright built that big flower box for me and I saved all of the, um, the sawdust? Well, she wrote me and said, just a gentle suggestion, please don't use uh, fresh sawdust. You have to let it all dry out. And so I've been letting this bag sit open since we last talked. She said, sadly, that if you fill one of your uh, pin pillows or what have you with fresh made sawdust, the moisture that is in there will seep out into your fabric and might ruin your piece. So make sure you dry your sawdust before
before you put it into a project. So I'm really sorry that that happened to you, but I thought maybe I better share that um, suggestion with everybody so, so we could kind of learn from what happened to you. I'm really sorry. Hmm. Okay, the next tip I have, this is the, the tip of the day. You're going to love this. Okay, so you know these, these things are antacids, those Tums that people take. They come in white or colors. These are all colored. This is just a, a, store, a store brand. This is not like the Tums or I think that's the, the brand name. Anyway, okay, so in my garden, I have 12 tomato plants. And unfortunately, the nursery that we go to, there's two of them, they, were, they ran out of the calcium, uh, calcium carbonate uh, that you would put around your tomato plants. And so I didn't have any. And you know, when you, when you pick a tomato and that bottom part is that black brown color, it just means that it hasn't, doesn't have enough calcium. It needs to have calcium to, to uptake and, and stop that from happening. So instead of buying the bag that they don't have, they don't know when they're getting it in, you can buy, or just maybe you have some at home, some Tums or the store brand just called Ant Acid, these Tums, and they're just the main ingredient is calcium carbonate. And so you take one of these and um, I just put it in a Ziploc bag with a mallet, a, a rubber mallet, and just smashed it till it was like powder. And then I just sprinkled one worth one of these around the drip line of uh, my tomato plant. So then as you go along and you water through the season, the calcium goes down into the earth and feeds the roots. And then we have happier, healthier tomato plants. So anyway, that's, that's my garden tip for today. So <laughs> I know, I told you, it's like everywhere. Um, oh, look at these things. Look at these little pins I got in the mail as a little present. Isn't that fun and happy? It just like fit in the envelope. <laughs> it's like, these are just another button company pin, just pins. It, isn't that funny? They're little fish. It really made me laugh. I love these things. Ooh, look what else I got in the mail. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'll try to get up closer. The stitching is so pretty. This is one of those free patterns that all the, the designers are making, the, the Be Well patterns. This says, Be Well, Do Not Panic, Pray, Hope. And then in the top here, it says 2020. I don't know if you can see. It's such small stitching. I think it's like 36 or 40. It's stunning stitching. It's so pretty. And then they finished it with a little bobble and then some really pretty fabric on the back. It's just so feminine and ladylike and it's just so pretty. I just wanted to share it with you. I tell you, some of those patterns are so pretty, but then when you do your own color conversion with the threads it's just lovely wasn't that nice it's so nice speaking of nice I have a friend hi Myla <laughs> my friend I've been friends since college day no I've been friends since I was four or 15 that's when I first met her okay she doesn't stitch uh, we're opposites. She she does more sports. She watches sports. She played sports. I didn't do any of that stuff. And um, she watches my channel. <laughs> and look what she gave me for my birthday. She went to the Silver Needle. I don't even know if I spoke about the Silver Needle. I don't even know how she knew that. And she bought me this pattern. A sampler pattern. I love this. And she gave me a gift certificate too, which is really nice because then I can buy more fabric or threads. And Anyway, what is that the nicest thing when someone who does not stitch and or sew or quilt or whatever, and they get you something that it's like the perfect gift for me? How nice is that? And I really love the pattern. It is Chessie and Me Think of Me Sampler. Here, I'll show it again so you can see it. And you know I want to do it. <laughs> I don't know, I might change the blue house to a red house, but other than that, I love this pattern. I love it. Can you believe it that somebody that doesn't really stitch, well, she doesn't stitch, but she makes beautiful cards. Sometimes if I send out cards, she may have made one of the ones. So you see a little M on the back, you know it's from her. So that's a good thing. Ooh, I got this pattern. We live in hope. I just, I love that. I love that. We live in hope. And I, I got all of the threads. They all came in finally, different places. 
I don't have the fabric, so I'm waiting on some fabric. Got to find some fabric, so. Ooh, and then another friend. Look, she let me borrow this. Again, I need fabric. So, so that whole hoarding thing, hats off to you. That's a great thing. Okay, my basket is about empty. What else do I have here? Ooh, what I'm grateful for. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Of course. Okay, first of all, I am grateful for rice crackers. Okay, when... All right, we've all eaten those rice cakes that are really thick and, like, kind of cardboardy. I, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm sure they're doing a very good job, but they're yucky. They're kind of dry, and I don't like them. Enter Thin Stackers. Look at these. They're super thin. I don't work for the company. Here, let me show you. And they come wrapped in, um, I think there's like, you know, like, in the, you know, so that the whole box doesn't go bad if you open the box. So they're super thin. So you can put peanut butter or almond butter or you can dip with them. They're hard enough that you can dip into something. Or I ate a whole container of these. This whole thing I ate with some hummus. So you can just sit outside on your patio and they're crunchy and really good flavor. I haven't tried these yet. The basil thyme. Oh, I don't have your attention? Wait, I have your attention now. <laughs> Look, they even have some that have a whole covering of dark chocolate. <laughs> now, these are really good. Okay, okay, look. Here, I'm, I, the, I do not work for the company. I just wanted to tell you. They're called Thin Stackers by Lundberg. So you can get them in the grocery store and the health departments, and they're not, they don't make you choke. They're not, like, dried out. Maybe there's some rice crackers out there that aren't big fat pieces of cardboard but anyway these are fabulous so you can try different kinds you can dip them in things or you can just eat this as a delicious snack and it's lovely and it's fun and it's chocolatey and you'll love that and oh yay they're gluten free so anyway i think you'll love them i think you'll love them what else am i grateful for oh i'm grateful for sunshine uh i'm really grateful that we it's it's about an hour away, but our coffee roaster opened and, and they roasted beans and I got to buy some beans for my espresso and I'm such a happy girl. I'm much happier with espresso. Fresh ground espresso. I'm much happier. So that's a good thing. Oh, I'm happy. I'm really, really grateful for Sunday drives. I'm grateful for the state of Alabama and the state of California that is opened up some of their things so that my grandchildren can go play at the park and ride their bikes and hike and swim and uh, do what kids need to do. Be out there and have a good time. Oh, look at this. I am grateful. Look at this week. Look at this. I know. I've been reading and trying to learn and I increased my productivity of eggs. I uh, increased their animal protein, a little more calcium for them. Um, so look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. I mean, there's enough that I share with the neighbors and I get to have some and yay, that's a good thing. Okay. I'm grateful for size eight inch pie pan. That's right. Everybody has a nine inch, but when there's just two people in the house and you make a pie, you want it to be, or a quiche or whatever you're doing. The eight inch is perfect. So if you get an eight inch pie pan, I'm just telling you, it's the best. It's really the best. Okay. All right. Oh, I've chatted for 42 minutes. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and visiting me. Thank you so much for being my friend and visiting with me and leaving me a great message or uh, a text message that brightens my day. Um, I appreciate you uh, thinking about my friend Donna Ray and my friend Stacy. Um, they really could use our help. I, I heard that song this morning, Bridge Over Troubled Water, and I was kind of like thinking, wow, if we just build this huge bridge of all these great prayers and wishes and goodness, it'll just help them get over those hot coals that they're kind of having to walk through. So please, um, please and thank you. Thank you for thinking of them, lighting your prayer candle, sending them some good wishes. And, ooh, don't forget about the drawings. Oh, yay. And thanks a lot for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I don't know why. I think it's kind of fun. It's kind of happy that I know 2,000. Well, I don't know every one of them, but 2,500 people that I get to talk to and share goodness with and you get to listen to my show and tell. This is like a glorified show and tell for me. I don't know. 
<laughs> anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I hope you enjoy the blueberry oatmeal bars. You're going to love them. Your kids will never know. There's a whole thing of spinach. Your husbands won't know. So anyway, thanks a lot. Please come back again and we'll chat soon. Okay, bye-bye.